What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you very much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what I do over here, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Let's just jump right into it. Today, we're breaking truckers, but but this is not a trucker. This, this is not a trucker. I, I believe that this is a, a, a female Karen of, of sorts. This is a Karen, not a truck driver, but I feel that this is like kind of trucker related because a lot of you drivers out there have canine friends. Y'all have y'all fur babies, fur buddies and all like that. Y'all consider y'all dogs and a part of the family. You know, y'all treat y'all, you know, to be honest with you, some of you truck drivers out there treat y'all your canine, your canines, your dogs, a hell, of a, little, a hell of a lot better than when you treat another human. <laughs> now this goes the, you know, this goes to like female drivers, male drivers, and sort. But you know, of course, there's more female drivers that have, uh, that have dogs that comes along with them, that keeps them company that keeps them, you know, keeps them grounded and all sorts of stuff. A dog could bring a level of enjoyment. A dog can bring a level of peace. A dog can bring compassion. You know, a dog could bring, you know, a, a dog could bring so much pleasure to your life, right? So again, as as I am about to talk about this uh this situation that happened at this restaurant a lot of you a lot of you truck drivers out there like to bring your dolls everywhere everywhere y'all take your dolls to eat y'all take your dolls to uh shower y'all take your dolls for walks y'all take your dolls to restaurants you know i mean the dog is just an an, an extension of you and you're going to treat your dog to the best of your ability. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, this uh popular I I guess she's a she's a restaurant owner herself and she's like a chef or something like that. You know, I checked her out on Instagram and all like that. Today we are breaking Saudia Schulter can't pronounce her last name but her first name is saudia she went to this restaurant in philadelphia called devon's seafood and grill um in one in one clip she actually says that she likes coming there you know it's one of her favorite place but i say i come in here like every week to eat i come here every week to eat because i love the food but on this particular day she came there with you know with her family member and she got annoyed when she saw a gentleman with his dog, a, a beautiful white poodle, by the way, giving the dog water out of a glass. That is not cool at all. Now, she over here, she feels like that's wrong. That's, ugh, that's why you giving the dog out of a glass, yada, yada, yada. So in, in the first clip, she talks about, you know, how she, how she's annoyed at, you know, uh, seeing that the dog is being fed water out of the glass and, you know, so much for that. The second clip um, was kind of like cut a little bit. Yes. It, it's kind of like cut because when the waitress came over and I guess the waitress no, you know, knew of her annoyance, I guess the waitress was coming over to let them know that, you know, hey, this is a, you know, this is a guy from the neighborhood. He comes here all the time. You know, him and his puppy don't, you know, him and his dog don't bother nobody. He sits over there by himself and, you know, do what he do with his little, you know, with his dog, you know? And and the restaurant knows of him and his dog because, you know, at one point she says that, you know, they brought, uh, you know, uh, like doggy biscuits or dog biscuits to the to the man. Another point that I want to bring out in this in, in this clip 
is the fact that she brings up the race card. Because um, they let these white folks do anything they want to do. Because um, they let these white folks do anything they may want to do. <laughs> and I don't understand that. I don't understand that. That's that's another point I want you guys to you know to catch. But also, I want you guys to also catch in the in the in the video that follows how it was convenient to cut out the conversation between her and the her and the waitress concerning you know the 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 older gentleman and his dog, but then conveniently comes back on where. The uh, uh, this young lady accuses the waitress, the uh, accuses the waitress that she wants them to leave. Yes. So now, since I said something, she comes over to me. She tells me she having a busy night. I don't want to be upset. So that means I gotta get kicked out. So you tell me you kicking me out? No. Because she, you know, mentioned something about the dog. Let's get into it. Hold on. I can't believe this man is. Uh, feeding his dog water. He giving this home out the glass, mm -hmm. out the f glass. I'm never drinking out these f glasses again at Devon's. He's feeding the dog water out of the f glass. I'm so f pissed right now. And I say I'm pissed. I'm pissed. They let these white folks do anything they want to do. I'm so mad right now. That is not cool at all. She see him doing it too. The way you see him doing it ain't yep. that. Hey y'all, so current update. So I'll, like I said, current update is at Dennis. Um, I called the manager, I asked the manager. The manager act like, what's okay? They start bringing the guy in the biscuits and shit. Um, but I say I come here like every week to eat. I come here every week to eat because I love the food. Biscuits and shit. <laughs> I was mad as hell. They giving them biscuits and shit. I couldn't even eat my goddamn food. I ain't drinking out of no more cups. I'm taking my own cups from now on. Period. I call your back. Yes. So I know that you're upset. So now, since I said something, she comes over to me. She tell me she having a busy night. I don't want to be upset. So that means I gotta get kicked out. So you tell me you're kicking me out. No, I'm not. So you telling me you're kicking me out because I said something about the dog. There's nobody out here. Could take care. You get the tables. Did I ever say I was kicking you out? No. Who the fuck is you hollering at? Don't fucking holler at me. Is that thing on? Okay, I'm gonna get my manager and we are gonna have to ask you to leave. So, we're gonna have to escort you out. Yes. You hear that? I hope you know who I am. I hope y'all know. I hope you know who I am. I hope you know who I am. You don't have to care because it's a job to you. It's just people who are here. Okay, we're gonna have to ask you to leave because this is getting out of control. It's definitely getting out of control. All right, so what do you guys think? What, what's your guys' opinions on it? Leave your comments in the comments below. Let's open this up for discussion. And like I said, you know, whether or not you feel that this isn't trucker related, I kind of figure that it is because a lot of truck drivers have canine friends. You guys take your dogs just about everywhere that you go. You know what I'm saying? Your dog is a your dog is a extension of you, and you're gonna treat your dog well. I seen somebody actually go to the cooler in the loves, get a bottle of water, and actually gave it to their dog and 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 they drunk it you know I, I i honestly don't see nothing the matter with that you know i i went to you know i went to restaurants before where uh where people actually took the plate off their table and gave it to their dog you know that was sitting next to them i mean yeah we 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 could we we could see sanitary situations going on like that i mean it ain't as worse as i've seen you know what people do with their with their animals like you know what's the worst that they that, that you guys seen that you that that somebody did with their dog you know kiss them in the mouth <laughs> you know what i'm saying let the dog lick them all over their face you know what i'm saying i mean what's what's what 
what what is bad about that? I mean, if they love their dog like they love their, you know, like like how they love a human, then it is what it is. Let me guys, let me let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Today we broke Saudia Salter. And she was at the seafood bar and grill. You guys could check her out. She do have an Instagram. She got about a 400,000 followers. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That's going to do it for this segment of Breaking Truckers. Thank you for being here. If you like what we do over here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for more videos that's posting daily.